Next up is Scarlett Johnson. Scarlett Johnson uh, is a mother of five and a strong advocate uh, for parents uh, and for students and has been involved in Moms for Liberty. Scarlett Johnson. Hello. Um, having traveled the state of Wisconsin, um, I cannot overstate the concern that parents have for the well-being and the education of their children. I'm going to talk a little bit about Title IX and the effect that it's having on Wisconsin schools and why school choice provides an uh, off-ramp for parents who are just desperate for their kid to be in a school that's sane. These new Title IX regulations under the Biden-Harris administration erase women and girls, they compel speech, and they strip parents of their fundamental right to direct the upbringing of their children. The divide in Wisconsin, like in America, is not between right and left. It's between normal and crazy. You know, uh, and that's really evident in education. Because um, normal people just want their kids to be educated, to have the skills that they need in life to succeed and go to college and find a future career that fulfills them. Crazy people see classrooms as a place to recruit foot soldiers for a woke army. And if you don't believe me, you can come to a presentation. I always provide receipts, and there are many. I will just give you a few. Uh, Milwaukee Public Schools. They have conversations about gender diversity in 5K classrooms. This is a time where kids need to learn to read. They need to learn phonics. Um, this is a really key period for a child. And instead of focusing on that, precious time in the classroom is wasted teaching kids these are pronouns. And uh, I, I know for a fact that most Milwaukee parents do not agree with this. This is not what they signed up for. And instead, this kind of radical indoctrination and curriculum just kind of gets shoved down their throat and they feel like they don't have a choice. Where else can they go? And school choice provides them an off-ramp from schools that are failing to do their job. In Sun Prairie, an 18-year-old boy goes into a shower room. There's four freshmen, there's four fortunate freshman girls and exposes himself, exposes his genitalia to them, and says, I'm trans, by the way. And you know what happens? Nothing. The parents aren't notified till a month later. The girls who feel victimized are silenced because they feel that if they say anything, they'll be labeled. They might be called a bigot or a transphobe. Eventually, when the girls have the courage to talk to administrators, the Title IX coordinator and the administrators do nothing but tell them if they would like to have a safe space, then they should go find another place to change or maybe just skip showering altogether. This is wrong. Under the Biden-Harris administration, Title IX protections disappear as our daughters are exposed to traumatic and unsafe situations. This it is why it is crucial that sane parents vote for a president who will restore Title IX to its intended purpose, protecting women and girls on day one. We must do this to prevent what happened in Green Bay, Wisconsin, when a biological male was allowed to play on the high school volleyball team, despite the teammates reporting injuries and bruises, despite that the, they complained they didn't want to share a private changing space with the biological male. No, instead, those girls were told, as were their parents, that if they wanted a safe place, they would just have to go find a closet somewhere. And this is wrong. This is very wrong. I'm going to end with this because I think it's a really compelling story and it's from the mouth of a middle school child in the Swallow School District. She had the courage to speak to her school board and advocate against the new Title IX rule. She looked up at her school board members and said, I know you guys think that you probably don't have to listen to a middle school girl, but you know what, she said, I'm on the student council. And I am here to protect 
the younger kids, the kids that are too afraid to say something. I have to be brave for them. She said she didn't want them to walk into a bathroom and see someone of the opposite sex. She said, that's not right. That's not how it's supposed to go. She ended, I know some people are like, there's no way, one way that things should, uh, th no one way that things are supposed to go. But when you really think about it, there is. And she's right. As a parent, I'm deeply concerned that a potential Harris Waltz presidency would give way to the most anti-parent, extremist education policy that America has ever known. And the only off-ramp that parents will have is school choice, educational freedom. We have to fund kids, not systems. And President Trump agrees with that. Our kids go to public schools. They do not belong to them. It is time for Mama Bear David and uh, to take on the Department of Education Goliath. We must use our voice and use our vote to fight for our children.